Hey everybody, welcome to the SMA Journey 51 vlog. All right guys, in this week's video, it's gonna be extremely short, but probably one of the most powerful videos that I've done in quite some time. On Friday, May the 24th, 2019, the FDA came across and finally approved Zolgensma from Avexis as the second FDA approved treatment for those of us who suffer from spinal muscular atrophy. Now we have Spinraza from Biogen and Zolgensma from Avexis as treatments for SMA. What an exciting day yesterday was. The company that I work for, BioNew Services, we produced a fantastic article regarding this announcement regarding Zolgensma. And I'm not gonna read you the article, but I will link the article down in the description of my video. So after you listen to what I have to say, go down and click on the article and read it for yourself. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at what you read. You know, we were thinking that Zolgensma was only going to be available to infants that were nine months of age or younger with type one SMA. But as I reported to you last week, that uh, quite some time ago, Avexis presented the FDA with additional information in hopes to broaden the label to include a wider range of uh, age of children and types of SMA. So when the announcement came down yesterday, we read the label and the label reads that Zolgensma will be available to infants and toddlers up to the age of two years of age with any type of SMA. So it's not just gonna be available to nine month old uh, infants with type one, okay? This is including infants and toddlers up to the age of two with any type of SMA. So what an exciting day yesterday was. You know, I can't imagine being the parent of a child that's newly diagnosed with SMA Think about what they've had to go through and think about what they're going to go through in the future. You know what? The future of their child just increased exponentially, okay? Because the infants that were on the clinical trials with Zogensma are all meeting great milestones. They're meeting milestones of able-bodied children. And so their children right now will probably never know what a wheelchair is or never know the detriments that those of us that are older have had to go through in our lives. So I think it's gonna be available to us eventually, but God bless the parents of these children. You know, this is great news for them and I couldn't be happier. So we have a lot to look forward to. There's other treatments that are gonna be coming around the bend in here in the not so distant future. I'm gonna be reporting on Rizdaplam, which is another treatment that shows a lot of promise. And I'll be talking about that in the coming weeks. But for now, just know that Zolgensma is available and these parents and these children have such a brighter future. And you know what? Could not be happier. So God bless you guys. God bless you. Hey guys, like I said, I will be reporting on these other treatments. And as more information comes out about Zolgensma, if I think you need to know about it, I'll definitely share it with you, okay? So if you enjoyed this week's video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Remember, when you do subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon to be notified of any new videos that I produce. I hope all of you have had a fantastic week. Please, do me a favor this upcoming week. Do something for yourself that's going to make you a better person. God bless you, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye. So oh.